Okay, so I've been screwing around with my um, roaster here for a few days, and I think I kind of got a little bit of a grasp on it. I'm roasting two pounds, which is the capacity of, of this Challenge. roaster here. Um, okay, just wait a sec, I don't want to charge you. Um, this thing talks to you. Um, so I'm roasting two pounds, and I preheated my roaster. I have a program to preheat to 500 degrees. Um, the larger volume of coffee Challenge. you have, the higher you want to have the preheat temperature. And for here, 500 seems to be working fine. So in respect to the overall roast, the whole 15-minute roast, I want to spend 40% of my time in the zero to green to yellow, 40% of the time in the yellow to the first crack, and then the remaining 20% of the time in my Challenge. development stage. The development stage is where I soften out the acidity so it doesn't have that, that dryness um, to your palate. So uh, I do have a plan here. It looks like this. Okay, you can see I have you know, what, what I want to do and my, my target times into the roast. Okay, so we'll see how that works. It's telling me it's ready to charge. Okay, um, so this is how I go ahead and do that. I have my beans ready right here. The little cap comes off. The funnel Challenge. goes on. Okay, and so I say charge. No, it hasn't. There we go. So, um, what's going on right here is I want to. Okay, I'm just going to do some controlling here. Fan speed at four. The power I want that up to eight. I don't want to hurry it. Oh, I'm going to power at seven. I don't want to hurry through this drying phase. I do want it to last for six minutes. Okay, and I think I did fine with that on the previous roast. Uh, I did. My previous roast, I wanted it five minutes. Things changed. It was six minutes and 20 seconds. And I believe it was, I was on, um, well, let's keep it at power eight. Let's see how that works. I want to do as minimal adjustments as I can here. The less fucking around you do, the less mistakes you're going to make. So my rate of rise here, I'm about 15 degrees per minute. So if I want to go, I'm just doing math in my head. There's a lot of math I'm doing in my head. I, I don't want to do math in my head. Okay? Math bad in my head. Um, so I'm looking at five more minutes. Five, that's five, there's 80 more degrees, so 80 and 30, so. Yeah, so it looks like um, at this rate of rise, 15 degrees per minute, when I get to my 12 minute mark, I should be about 390, 400, which is around where first crack is gonna start. Um, right now, it's, on a trajectory to meet that, I may I may get the first crack a little bit early. I can slow that down by I can increase my fan speed or decrease my my heat. I don't want to start changing too many parameters here. That way, uh, I'm not really quite sure what's going to affect what. So I'm trying to keep my fan speed uh, the same. Right now, it's at four. So about another 40 more degrees and I should be hitting first crack. That'll be around um, 390 degrees right here. And so two more minutes, that's 30 degrees in total. So I sh it'd be super, super awesome if it, if it works out like what I predict.
bean color is just about a cinnamon roast right now. I can pull the beans out at this point, and that's what's considered white coffee. Actually, that was off on my time. Whoopies. Um, I'm going to lower my temperature down to 7. That should decrease my rate of rise. Prolong this Millard browning phase. Right now, it seems to be going just a wee bit too fast. They have basically one more minute left to get up to 390. Okay, there's first crack. I need to hear more. Okay, there we go. So there's more consistency. So, sweet, right at 12.01 is when first crack started. That was at 3.95. So now, from here on out, my end, up, my end temperature, I want it to be at 430 degrees. So... We'll see how that works out. I have basically two and a half minutes to go to get up to 430, which it looks like it's doing fine. I don't think I need to do anything right now. I've kept my drum speed and for the most part my fan speed untouched. I also have, so once I, I, I indicate first crack starts it tells me right over here as far as the how much percentage of the time I'm spending in the development phase DV for development so right now I'm at nine percent I want that to be twenty percent okay it looks like I'm right on track Now what I'm going to do with my last roast here, my last two pounds, I'm going to replay this back for that one and have it all automated. That'll be cool. So I'm going to wait the 15 minutes. I'm at 4.30 right now. Here we go. Okay, I came back. Um, so that roast turned out almost exactly like I wanted it to. I, well, what I thought it was going to be. Um, it did what I wanted. Whether that was right or not is beside the point. Um, you can see down over here my, uh, my charge time up to my, when the bean is turned yellow. It, it took 38% of the overall time for that which I um, was hoping for 40%, but that's fine. So from the yellowing all the way to the first crack, that was 41%. So 79% um, from when I charged it all the way up to uh, when the first crack started, which I basically wanted 80% of that. And then 20% I have in the development phase. Again, that's where the acidity has kind of softened up a little bit. Um, I had a total of 15% weight loss, which is right where I wanted it. Um, so what we're going to do with this last, um, this last uh, pound of coffee is, no, two pounds of coffee, is I'm going to play back exactly what I did over here. And the program here is going to tell the roaster here what to do. Okay. So we'll see how that works. So it's pretty cold. It's, it's, it needs to get back up to uh, 500 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
and see how it goes. In fact, well, let me just start it right now and see what happens. Play back. Yoki. And I'm connected. Uh, preheat your roaster to begin. So I'm going to say start preheating. Preheating. And it told me it's preheating. So when that's ready, I'll go ahead and come on back and we'll maybe watch and see how it does without me doing anything at all. I'm not really quite sure what to expect in all of this, but it appears that it's preheated to 500. So let's find out. Okay. Charge. Here we go. Okay, so it should be like any changes that I made before, it should play those changes back. It's kind of grayed out. So all the stuff that's um, coming up new, it should roughly follow those lines, I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know why, but it didn't change to P8 like it did before. So I went ahead and did that manually because uh, it wasn't really kind of getting up to the temperature that I wanted. So it should be telling me to stop like right now. I don't know what happened. I got to read up on that a little bit more. I thought it was going to change to P8 because I did P8 right, right here um, and it didn't do that. So right when it gets to 430, right over here, I'm going to drop it. So I'm already like 37 seconds past what I wanted it to do. Wanted it to do. So that only means it's going to be more of a smoother cup, less flavor, but I'm not really concerned with the flavor at this particular point. So okay, I'm going to drop it. There we go. Let these sit for about a day or two, and I should see a little bit of oil start to migrate to the surface. That's the kind of roast I personally prefer. So once these are cooled down, I'm going to go weigh them. And what I'm looking for is about a 14 to 15 percent weight loss. That actually correlates with uh, the relative degree of roast. Let's look at the percentages. Um, I wanted 80% from zero all the way to first crack. 76% and 22% in development. A little bit longer in the development than I wanted. Um, but I gotta go back and read up on playback mode and see what I can and can't do on this. Um, I think it turned out well. I feel better about running this. All right, bye.